Today, I will share with you guys how I've been promoted regularly and how I stay a high performer at work. I will share with you guys a full framework today on how you can get first in line for a promotion. My name is Johan Pearson and I have some exciting stuff to share with you today. The first thing you need to understand is that you will never ever get promoted just because you worked at a company for a certain amount of years. Promotions are not a given. You need to learn how to climb the corporate ladder. And if you follow all the tips in this video, I promise you, you will be extremely well positioned for a promotion at work. The faster you can take the tips to heart, the faster you will get a promotion. And this is not complicated. Every single one of you can start doing these things today. It's important that your effort matches your ambition though. Let me repeat that. Your effort must match your ambition. This video is sprinkled with tips and tricks to fast track your career, so make sure you watch to the very end. You will find a lot of value in this video that you won't find anywhere else. And please leave a like, it's free, takes a second, but helps me tremendously. Getting a promotion at work is one way of getting yourself closer to your dream job. It's also a way of getting a significant pay bump. Many of us is also looking to have a bigger impact at work and a promotion will definitely help with that. Of course, it also means more responsibility, a higher level of accountability and higher pressure. As you grow though, you will also learn to deal with that, not to stress out and to enjoy the journey. We will look at three pillars today. Effectivity, how and visibility. You need to take all three of them to heart. Don't worry, I will give you an approach to all of them that you can start doing today. The first pillar is effectivity. The quantitative prerequisite for a promotion is effectivity. You want to make sure you're performing at the level you want to be promoted to before you get promoted. This way you show that your value and impact is higher than your level and that you can consistently perform at that higher level. And now you're probably wondering, how do you achieve this? I will give you my approach to this right now. Study the job description of the level above you. Understand the gap between where you are now and where you want to be promoted to. Set some goals aimed at filling that gap. Involve your manager if you need work to match your ambition. Make sure you're always aware of your manager's goals. Ask your manager how you can help him or her achieve them. Set a stretch goal or two to show that you're going above and beyond. As you come into work every single morning, ask yourself, how can I add value to the people around me? The second pillar is how. What you have done and how effective you've been is only half the equation. How you do things also plays a big part in how you're evaluated. Always do things with integrity, always display leadership qualities, set an example for others to follow. This includes having a positive attitude, even when times are tough. Always try to be as self-going and self-motivated as possible. Stay in a learning mindset and always try to gain new perspectives. Live the company values. Know the company's products and services and be passionate about them. The higher you get in an organization, the more leadership skills you have to exhibit. I'll link a video down in the description that walks you through the core leadership skills of a great leader. Always be open to feedback. Never ever become defensive. You should also ask for feedback regularly to make you aware of any blind spots you may have. And don't forget that your health is also part of the how. Where you take care of yourself. Exercise regularly and try to eat healthy. And exercising can of course be anything from going to the gym, to dancing, to going for regular walks. The third pillar is visibility. You can be a super high performer, but sadly you're never gonna get promoted if people don't know your impact. And of course, there are good and bad ways of making your work visible. The important thing is that your manager is aware of the value you're adding. Then you wanna take chances to present your work in meetings. Also speak up in meetings when you have a point of view and network within your company. And if you're already a manager with a team, your team's impact will speak for itself. So make sure you keep them productive, happy and engaged. Speak highly of them whenever you can to other parts of the company to make sure people know they exist and what their impact is. 
and you always want to aim to hire smarter people than yourself. Those were the three pillars, but I have another tips for you that you don't want to miss. There is one thing that will help you excel at all of these three pillars, and that's getting a mentor at work that's at least two levels above you. This will speed up your growth and make sure you get the guidance you need to fast track your career. And when you meet all of these three pillars, you should be extremely well positioned for a promotion at work. One good thing to be aware of is that when you get higher up in the organization, there also has to be a business need for your promotion. Still though, fulfilling all of these three pillars will line you up extremely well for when the time comes for that promotion. You will also be extremely well positioned for higher roles in other parts of the company or in other companies. Making the habit of all these three pillars will keep your career on a steady growth trajectory. You will most likely also notice that you become highly appreciated at work. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next week.